Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I didn't want to give my full intro, kind of me blabbering on, so I decided to just get straight on into it. So the first squishy that I took for this redeco video was this little weird kind of ice cream cream dollop. I wasn't 100% sure what it was or what the two things on top were, but yeah, I'm going to say it's ice cream. So what I did was I cut all those little kind of knobbly bobbly bits off of the top and then what I did was I went in at an angle with my scissors to kind of create more of a round beveled edge on the very top. I also smoothed out the top so that it was nice and smooth and not textured like the original squishy was. Next, taking a permanent marker, I just drew out some little kind of legs and then I realised I actually did nine but I only needed eight and I just cut in between each of those and rounded them out one by one. So I was actually going to make this little guy into a jellyfish but I felt like he looked more like an octopus after I did his legs and don't worry, I can say that because I put him in the thumbnail. I was unsure whether or not to put him in the thumbnail but I figured if I do three then it's kind of okay to put one of them in the thumbnail and yeah they're all completely different anyway so I haven't really ruined any surprises this time but basically once I had all the shapes smoothed out and everything I just went ahead and painted it with some puffy paint this is just normal puffy paint white with a bit of blue mixed in from the brand tulip and then I added a tiny bit of white glue as I usually do just to spread it out a little bit further it actually works out to be like five parts puffy paint and then one part you UV PVA glue and it's really not a lot of PVA glue in there just to kind of make the paint go further doesn't really do anything to it but like I said it just kind of waters it down and means you have more paint I did three coats of the blue in total all over the body and the tops of the legs and then once I was done doing that bit I also painted the bottom Next, once all the paint was fully dry, I then went ahead and painted on the little face. Of course, I did a little quiet face. I was just going to do a simple smile on this one, but I'm still loving this little excited face as I just think it looks so cute. So that's exactly what I did. Once the little guy was then fully dry, as you can see, it's then complete. So I'm really confused by this because I also feel like when I look at it now on camera, it looks like a little spider, like a little blue spider. You know, like Lucas the spider. I love Lucas the spider. But anyway, that's how this little jellyfish octopus spidery thing turned out. I think it looks so super cute and definitely better than the thing from before it's definitely more my style and yeah I'm really really happy with how the first one turned out so for this second one my imagination kind of went wild I seen this and I knew what I wanted to do it made no sense but I did it anyway so what I did was I took this dumpling looking squishy out of one of my like 50 packs from Amazon type packets you know the type I mean and I just went ahead and cut out that little loop that's in it and then cut it a tiny bit smaller and rounded it all out. I actually only made it smaller to kind of get rid of that hole that was in it left over from the little loop bit but yeah otherwise I wouldn't have bothered. What I then did was mixed up a yellowy orangey kind of mixture of paint and painted the whole entire thing with that. Now I figured it actually looked like a fortune cookie at this point but it didn't stop that. What I did was I took some brown slick paint and did little chocolate chips all over and then once that was dry I popped on a kawaii face. Now you're probably thinking Chelsea this looks like a giraffe pattern banana because that's exactly what I thought at this point but what I was trying to achieve was like a half cookie in the shape of a moon. I don't know it doesn't sound very exciting now that I say it out loud but in my mind I was like I'm gonna do it like a moon but not just any moon a cookie moon but that's what I've tried to do and now I'm looking at it thinking it looks like a giraffe patterned banana. Maybe I should have just done a banana instead but hey ho this is what we have. So I'm really really happy with how it turned out even though it is a little bit weird. I think the chocolate chips look realistic thanks to the tulip slick paint and the squishiness of it is just the same as when I started before. Really nice and slow rising even though it is really small it just 
slow rises right back up and yeah there's nothing more to say about that one so I'm gonna move on to the third so for the third and final redeco of this video, I actually took this weird looking little steam bun. I do actually have four or five of these as they're quite common to get in those 50 packs from Amazon and everything. But this one here is actually based off a lot of comments that I got on yesterday's video where you guys thought it was something but it wasn't. So that's exactly what I decided to make this one into. It's like a mini version of what you guys thought my one yesterday was. Does that even make sense? But anyway, I cut off all like the face and everything like that. I wish I had kept it on because I ended up making these indentations which took so many layers to cover up with paint. So I painted the whole of the like rounded side with purple and honestly I did like five layers to cover up those marks that I cut in. But what I then did was I like popped a ring of purple around on the flat edge. I left that to dry and then went ahead and popped another ring on slightly smaller than that one in white. And I completely filled that in to make it look like it was full with something. <laughs> what I then did was taking some pink, some green, some blue and some purple. Once that white was like still wet so I didn't actually let it dry before doing the next step. I just did little circle like rings all the way around the white bit on top. Once all the little rings were in place I then went ahead and popped a kawaii face on the side and this just matched the original one that I put on the giant squishy that I redecorated yesterday and yeah that was all I did. So once it was fully dry as you can see it is just a little bowl of cereal. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I think it just looks so so cute. I tried to like recreate Fruit Loops but in my own kawaii colours just to match the um, squishy a little bit more and I think it turned out really really great. I know so many people thought I was doing a bowl of cereal yesterday and I probably could have and it definitely was on my mind but I really wanted to test out the silicone on the noodles so that's exactly what I did yesterday and I feel like this little mini version can now be its friend forever because it's so flipping cute. So anyway, that is the third and final redeco of this video. Here, all three of them together, the little weird kind of jellyfish octopus spidery thing, the definitely super weird cookie moon, and the little cereal bowl. I think they all look super cute together as they're all different colours but with the same little face on, so they kind of look like they're from like a little matching set or like a blind box an opening or something that's what I feel like it looked like because I just feel like they all match like a set but they're all different so anyway I'm going to stop rambling on I hope you all have a fantastic day if you did like this video then please do give it a thumbs up and let me know which ones to, to kind of redecorate in the comments down below and I'll see you tomorrow bye